going on to you, Leos? You have the world, um, the queen of cups, the king of wands, the four of uh, swords, the two of swords, the, um, the death card, seven of pentacles, the knight of cups, the eight of pentacles, and the moon. So this is about how a lot of you, uh, Leos, um, Yeah, that whole idea about how a lot of you Leos, honestly speaking, a lot of you Leos, that whole idea that people tend to spin, they try to make it seem like you Leos are terrible people, that whole idea is down in, in, in the toilet because the world represents, this. the world is about your view of things. And you understand that a lot of people are out here playing games, of course, talked about it, right, numerous times, but also your understanding of it. But the Queen of Cups and the King of Wands is about how people will come to you with a smile on their face, but then they don't want you really doing good. Because now all of a sudden, instead of them being inspired at the fact that you're, you're doing very well, these are people who try to tear you down. And these are often people who... Again, come and smiles. They they your they they your so called friends. They your so the so called people that you hanging with. The so called people that you kicking it with. That you trust your love interest. And now all of that stuff is put to sleep. Four of Swords because you Leos are not hanging out with these people. These so called love interests. These friends. The, these family members who tried to tear you Leos down anymore. A lot of you Leos have changed, you know, because again, about, I want to say six months ago, I don't even want to say six months ago. I want to say probably about nine months ago or something like this, right? A lot of you Leos wasn't trying to hear what it is that I was trying to say when I told y'all that a lot of y'all had to change. Remember that? A lot of you Leos was getting up. I was getting, a, I was getting little views on these Leo videos because a lot of y'all didn't like because a lot of y'all thought that I was bashing y'all. Then when things started to make sense, now it's like, oh, okay, I understand what it is that you're saying, right? Because I don't just act like this with you. I act like this with all, including Virgo. I just did a Virgo video where I criticized the Virgos a little bit. Every zodiac sign gets it. So don't, you know, but the Four of Swords now, right? And the Two of Swords is about how a lot of you Leos understand now that the critiques that people act like they're giving you, it's not really critiques because all critiques are constructive. If a person is just going at you, then they're just really trying to tear you down. That's not really a critique. Their, their, their goal and i.e. their aim is to tear down, disrespect, step on and downright dissolve what you've got going on. And we all know that it's untrue. We all know that a lot of those things that people say about you is untrue right behind your back and some of the things that they may say about you behind your back is so far-fetched it's so out of this world now what does this have to do with your love life and just everything in general because when you try to really get to know people People will try to do, will try to throw dirt on your name by doing that find out right if they see you somewhere, when you leave, they talking to the person who you talking to. Why are you hanging out with that? Why are you hanging out with that Leo? You think that Leo is good? You think that Leo got your back? Let me tell you what that Leo did. You understand what I'm saying? And the death card now represents. So um, the death card is now about as a result of this. The death card is about how. So all of that stuff is 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 finished. You Leos are now starting your your life from a new because it, it, it really feels like that because you're you've changed so much because all the people that you were running with, you're not running with them anymore. So because of the fact that you're not running with them, it makes things much more difficult for people who, you know, in your love interest that you were talking to, it makes them much more it makes it much more difficult on them to 
sabotage your life. They can only try to sabotage. They can only sabotage your life up close and personal if you allow them in your life. But no, no more. A lot of you Leos are starting to hang out by yourselves. Is what I'm seeing too, and kind of compartmentalize your life. And what I mean by that is, if you have yourself a significant other, go by yourself. Hang out with your, your significant other. Come back to the to your your own spot, your home, or your residence by yourself, or with your significant other, depending on if you live by yourself. Do your thing, you know. No introducing these people to your so-called friends or any of that stuff. And the Seven of Pentacles is that again, you MIA. A lot of people unable to kind of reach you, and those happen to be the same people who would try to sabotage you. So the Knight of Cups and the Eight of Pentacles is about how a lot of you Leos moving forward, doing your own thing, right? Right? And the Eight of Pentacles is about taking care of yourself, making sure that you're good. Okay? And then you have the moon. Again, MIA. <laughs> MIA. Changing lanes. Changing lanes. Shout outs to Kevin Gates. Changing lanes, you know? And what I mean when I say that, changing lanes, I mean all of that, what Leo normally would stand for, because all the zodiac signs evolve over time. They change, they evolve over time, right? Back in the, back in the 50s and the 60s, and 70s and the 80s, Virgo was considered to be boring, right? Same thing with Leo. Leo was considered to be outgoing and extroverts. But as time goes on, a lot of you Leos starting to realize that, no, you got to be about certain things that your zodiac sign is naturally supposed to, is naturally or advertised as, meaning that Leo is supposed to be social. A lot of you Leos are going to be way more kind of to yourselves because you because a lot of you Leos are seeing what it is that I'm talking about. You bring people into your life, the wrong ones, they will try to tear you down. They will try to get in your way. They will try to, to be um, disrespectful to you. They'll try to do all sorts of things to get in the way, be disrespectful, um, uh, tear you down, sabotage you. So you realize that when it comes to socializing, socializing has to be something like kind of like part time. You know what I mean? Like you show up, you socialize for a little bit, but you're a loner because you, you want to keep everybody at a certain distance, certain distance, right? So that people can't have so much access to you to play their games. And it's making people very difficult to get in touch with you because that's, that's why it is that you got the moon. So let's clarify the moon. So to clarify, we have the Eight of Swords, Eight of Cups. That's what I'm saying. Page of Wands, Three of Wands. Right. The Eight of Swords, the Eight of Cups, they, you know, they don't know where you are. They don't know what your whereabouts are. They, you know, the, the whole dynamic of how you used to have a lot of people you know, you used to revolve around a lot of people. People used to revolve around you. you used to hang out with all, know all these people. Now, you know, you've kind of cut down your inner circle to very few people. You know, it started to be more of a loner, right? And the thing about it is that the Eight of Cups, okay? The Eight of Cups is now about, and this is why a lot of people are noticing it because they're like, wow. Where have you Leo's gone? You know, <laughs> you're not really there too much. The Eight of Cups, you're not really there too much. You've effectively left because you don't see the value in it. And then you have the um the Page of Wands. The Page of Wands and the Three of Wands is now about how also too, this is a situation where a lot of you Leos have also become someone new. You know, you're thinking about how you you know, you're thinking how do I say this? A lot of you Leos are thinking about when you look back at your life, what kind of memories are you generating? What are you doing? And you and some of you Leos may be wanting to travel. Some of you Leos are like, look, 
I'm going to live my life, yo. Like a lot of people out here, they wild in, they're so busy trying to waste time. And if you ask me, a lot of you Leos are really getting it. Forget about all of that trying to stunt and make people jealous. Only the people who are going to be dysfunctional are going to be jealous. Live your life, yo, for real. 